Wait a minute, Bob. Hi, oh, guys. Well, it is an exciting day here in Doomsday Trailer. As well, but I think the tornado watch is wrapping up in about 30 minutes. So if I don't die during this rant from a tornado uh, knocking me out of the chair, uh, I guess I'm going to be here for another night of sitting around alone with my thumb up my ass on this. It will be an exciting Wednesday night. April 3rd, 2024, and uh, so, you know, I'm starting to wrap up my winter down here in Florida, and i uh, thinking of heading back to the great state of New York, baby, and I'm uh, wondering, should I crank up my pile of fish? <laughs> profile back and should I move it up to New York or just just fucking give this whole crazy notion up just uh, uh, abandon every shred of hope that uh, heading into the dreaded age 65 coming up in what am I five months from now I will be the dreaded age of 65 and is it finally at age 65 time to say Hambone give it the fuck up okay you are never gonna have a goddamn woman in your life uh, e even to uh, I, I, I don't know go kayaking with much less to uh, ever think about having sex with uh, that you have had sex for the last time in your life and uh, so in the middle of all this, so this was about a week ago, I was going to do a rant on it, but I was too busy with other shit. So there was this long article that I was reading about uh, the exploding uh, incidents of all of these uh, STDs uh, among people 65 and over, how syphilis and gonorrhea and chlamydia, uh, the, the whole slew of them are uh, j just since, uh, it sounds like since COVID, uh, since the corona panic, just exploding all over the place. And I've heard this before and they mentioned it again, where do you think the epicenter of this explosion of, uh, of venereal disease and in, in, uh, in, in the U.S. Is, is, is happening. It's happening in the villages about an hour. I'm not even sure the villages. Yeah, I guess the villages are right about an hour uh, southeast of me, that uh, retirement community. I did a little tour through there recently about... Uh, just uh, how the villages, uh, which I hear by one measure is the single fastest growing uh, resident, uh, urban area or residential area, one of these census things calling the villages the fastest growing town in the country and it's leading the pack of all of these horny old people uh, with these out of con spiraling out of control rates of uh, all kinds of these STDs with all of these uh, old people uh, bumping uglies down there in the villages. My God, when I go on to pile of fish, there's page after page after page of these lonely, horny old women uh, in the villages just throwing themselves uh, at, at, at men looking for a, a hard dick to find. And, uh, they, you know, the vast majority of them uh, fat old women, uh, which, which kind of goes with the territory, old women and fat, of, you know, calling a woman a fat old woman is now just redundant. 
Uh, so now when you're mentioning anybody, you know, any woman my age who's not fat, you say something like, yeah, uh, she's my age, but she's not fat. She's, she looks pretty good for 65, looks pretty good for a 67-year-old woman. You know, the, 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 these old women uh, wonder why uh, guys uh, are always say that. They look pretty good for your age. That's a compliment that if you're not some blimp by the time you're 65 years old, uh, you look pretty goddamn good. Maybe you will be able to find a hard dick. Probably will give you some sort of STD if you are. But anyway, just in that article, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it kind of did point out, now of course, you, you only get a sexually transmitted disease if you're actually having sex. So, uh, what percentage of people 65 and over, basically my age and older, from this point on, and, and they didn't divide this up between married and unmarried people. It was just one lot based on this survey of like 7,000 uh, old, old farts. Uh, what percentage of Americans 65 or older are having sex at all or have just thrown in the fucking towel? My guess was that 70% of Americans 65 or older uh, were, were, were still fucking. Uh, <clears throat> but guess what the answer was? 40%. 40% of Americans 65 uh, are, are, are over are still holding on the, to the illusion uh, the, that they can just keep this going to other 110, I guess. Uh, but the, of course, the flip side of that, I think we're going to hear a slam here in a second. The flip side, if 40% if, if of people 65 or older are still having sex, another way of saying that is 60%. I don't know. I, w I should have run the numbers on here. 60% of Americans, 65 years or older, and my guess is it doesn't make any difference whether they're married or single. 60%. Uh, uh, so for every, you know, for every 10 old people you see, uh, six of them have given up on ever seeing pussy or a uh, or, or at least a hard dick uh, in their in their life again. Now they they did you know point out in the article that one reason uh, kind of uh, I, I guess for why only forty percent is, is that number one uh, a lot of men are dead by the time they're 65. I have, I have lost three of my buddies in 2024 in Austin, Texas. Three of them had, in my age in Austin, Texas have dropped dead this year. So unless you're a necrophiliac, you can't have sex after you're dead. And then of course it's talking about that you can't get your pecker up but, you know, they were saying there's all of these Viagra and dick pumps and all of this shit. Uh, so that's the, not as big of a problem as it used to be, but it was talking about there's this huge imbalance of horny old women to, to horny old men. So I'm make, making it sound like if you want to be in that group of 40%, of 65 and older uh, still having sex, uh, that, that it, 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 as long as you're, you, you know, as long as you're fine, if you're a man 
who, who does have a dick that still works. I actually had a woman who will, uh, who will go nameless here ask me this morning. I don't know if she was kidding or not. A, 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 a friend of mine in her mid-60s, <coughs> uh, I, think, I, I, I think she was joking, uh, asking me, does your dick still work, am I? And uh, I, I mean, it, 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 I, I mean, it works okay as far as I can tell, but since I, it hasn't been put to the real test in seven fucking years, uh, I really don't know uh, if, if, if I could rise to the occasion or not. But uh, <laughs> I, I will uh, if, if I ever get the uh, get put to the test again. But it's, uh, it, 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 you know, it's telling me that there's, that there's just crowds uh, of these horny old women, uh, like down there in the villages, that if, if they can just get their claws uh, in, in, in the, you know, in this, some man who still has a pulse, Michael Campy, you, you have to understand, Michael, that women uh, need to have a pulse in their sex partners. M Michael uh, did this thing on Medium today talking about basically that men will fuck anything with a pulse. Uh, and uh, so first, women, they need to, assumedly, I mean, I guess that they didn't really talk about lesbians here. This was mostly, assuming they were talking about heterosexual women, that first that these horny old women, they, they have to establish a pulse. And once they get the pulse established and that their uh, partner is still alive, then they need to find a partner with a pulse and a pecker that still gets hard, and uh, so so anyway, they, they were making it sound like that it was it was a bigger problem if you're a horny woman uh, over the age of 65 to get laid than and if you're a horny old man with a pulse and a working pecker that you should have this uh, fat old lady pussy uh, coming out of your damn ears. Uh, now, 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 of course, you know, one thing they, of course, they're not going to go here in, in, in that article because it's the third rail. And, and I, I, I fully understand it, and I want every, you know, anybody listening to this, guys, I could be having sex with, if my goal was to find a female with a pulse and a working vagina, uh, I mean, they, they make this artificial lube, I could probably, even me, even me, even I, could find a, uh, a, a, a fat old woman with a pulse and a vagina that we could, you, you know, lube up with, with some KY jelly. If, if, if that was really my goal, and my goal was not looking for companionship. That if my goal was to stick my dick in an ugly old fat woman, there's probably about a thousand of them on pile of fish waiting for me in the uh, in, in uh, the villages right now. But 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 of course, nowhere did it talk about you know. So it talks about the reason that that women. 65 uh, uh, that you know aren't able to find men to fuck because they're dead or at least their dick is dead uh, but, but they did not touch the reason why so many men uh, 65 or older 
are uh, are unable to find a partner. Uh, why only? And now, one thing is forty percent. The the other thing, you know, it didn't divide between married and unmarried, and it did not divide it between men and women. So it made it just sound like, although it said more women than men, but, but anyway. Let's uh, assume uh, that 60% of uh, men 65 or older uh, are not having sex. And, and how much of the reason for that is they are not having sex with a woman they want to have sex with. That what percentage of the 60% of men, 65 and older, not getting any pussy, are not getting any pussy because they don't want to have sex w with an old, fat, ugly woman. And uh, no one's going to go there. And, uh, well, I am part of that 60%. Uh, this buddy of mine in, uh, in California, I was talking to a couple. He's been living out there in California for six years, has not gotten laid. He's, he's, uh, he is, I think he's a year older than I think he might be 66. But, but, but you know, that this age uh, hasn't been laid in six years of living in California. And well, one of the reasons being, he has not met a woman that, you know, that uh, inspires him to even see if his dick is still working. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, I, I mean, so this has been on my mind, and I opened up Medium.com today, and, and out of nowhere... It's just like out of nowhere. I, I have no idea why this is showing up on my feed. And now my goddamn battery went out. So uh, I have I have no clue why this article showing up on my feed. Probably they they saw that I was. Uh, uh, I, I was reading that study or something titled, I'm not attracted to my overweight wife anymore. So this guy is whining about, uh, I'm not going to read this all day. Uh, this guy is whining about uh, the fact that, that, that he still uh, enjoys her company. I mean, he's still feel some basic affection for this woman, but he made it clear at the, at the outset of their marriage that, you know, when she was young and hot, uh, that he did not have any intention of fucking fat women. And so what has happened over the years, he has stayed in shape. He has kept his shape while his wife has gotten fatter and fatter and fatter, he, you know, he, he said, I watched five pounds go by, I watched ten pounds go by before I started saying, darling, you need to slack off of the Snickers bars. Now she's 100 pounds. You, you know, I mean, I don't know. Unfortunately, he doesn't have their ages. I'm thinking this couple is probably, I don't know if they're even as old as, uh, as 65, but I'm thinking they're probably at least in, in the middle of their 50s and not their 60s. And so, uh, uh, of course, they're now separated. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He, he, I guess he enjoys talking to her on the phone, but he gets grossed out. And uh, so anyway, uh, this is, uh, I, 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 like, I like this, this is towards the end of his whine. So we are now separated, but still acknowledge 
our love for each other, and yet I know if I go back, it, meaning her big fat belly and ass, will still be the same. I have had therapists tell me that the only answer, the only answer for this man is to go under hypnosis so that I can be deprogrammed and learn and learn to be sexually stimulated with an obese lover. So that this is what it has come to in this country. If you're a fucking man, and, 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 and as I said, I am too fat, okay? Uh, I am too fat. Any woman fatter than me uh, is obese. But uh, you know what I'm saying. Generally speaking, uh, I can barely button my 31-inch jeans uh, still, but I, I wear a 32-inch uh, jeans now. Uh, but right now, uh, what this is saying, according, so, so this guy has been seeing therapists, you know, uh, they're trying to figure out how they can work around this to get him to be sexually stimulated by, by his uh, old fat ugly wife. We're mainly talking about the fat here now. And uh, so, okay, you got this woman, she's 100 pounds overweight, he's still good looking. What are the options here? The only option is to uh, find a hypnotist. There you go. The only answer, according to their therapist, is to go under hypnosis so that I can be, quote, deprogrammed deprogrammed and learn to be sexually stimulated with an obese lover. And I'm thinking, there you go. Uh, well, finally the answer. Finally, Hambone Little Tail is going to have pussy coming out his ears again. Uh, I, I am going, good God, I am going to be the Hugh Hefner of uh, of Candor, New York, uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to go find me a hypnotist to deprogram myself. That uh, obviously I have been, uh, you, you know, programmed uh, by this misogynistic, sexist pig society that, uh, that, that says that uh, fat women are, are sexually unattractive. That in order uh, to, to find a man uh, who, who has a pulse and a working dick, uh, who might want to stick their dick into you, maybe you shouldn't get so fucking fat. Maybe you could lose some fucking weight, you fucking heifer. But that is no longer an option. It is not an option for, uh, and, I, and I guess this, I guess this works both ways. I don't want to sound sexist or misogynist here. I'm sure uh, the same can be said for for skinny woman, for, uh, you, you know, looking at all of these fattiest men around here. So I'm sure there's plenty of skinny women uh, that, that have the same problem, that these women uh, who are still uh, in shape uh, at age 65, and, and, uh, and, and any man they can find is, is some fat-ass tub of lard. So anyway, I guess this, I guess this uh, you know, what's good for the gander is good for the goose, that it, it, it is not an option for, and, and, and these are, and, and this is a couple in a long-established marriage, all right, but it is no longer an option and this age of no more fat shaming, 
Uh, it, it is not an option for the fat fucking pig, be it man or woman, to lose some fucking weight to be a sexually attractive to a potential partner anymore. It's not their problem. If you uh, want to be somewhat physically attractive to a member of the opposite sex, and you do a little bit uh, to keep yourself from just going into just an absolute, you know, tub of lard, uh, that it is your responsibility to find a hypnotist, and they aren't cheap, to uh, deprogram you so you can be turned on by fat women or fat men or whatever you're looking for. Uh, it is your problem. It is not the fat asses person's problem. Alright, so uh, I need to find, would you guys please help me find, I am looking for a hypnotist in Ithaca, New York. I'll travel uh, I, I'll go to Buffalo or I don't want to go into the big city, but can someone please help me find, in, in somewhere in the state of New York, uh, outside of the city preferably, I am looking for a hypnotist who can deprogram me. So uh, I can go through the pile of fish listings uh, and uh, d d just act like I'm 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 looking through a I don't know an old Playboy magazine that because I want to go on pile of fish and, and, and go through this page after page after page uh, 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 of these fat ass women uh, and, and and want to stick my dick in every one of them. Uh, so anyway, please, if, if you know of a hypnotist, please uh, send me an email to Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com uh, so I can deprogram myself and uh, finally start getting some pussy back in my life. I just hope she doesn't break the bed. Uh, in, in my tiny houses at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, the, the absolute hopelessness. And, 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 and you guys who are, uh, you know, 50 years old and, and, and still have all this pussy coming out of your ears, and uh, you, you're, you're going to be shocked what happens uh, in, in, in your 60s. This uh, female friend of mine who is 76 years old, probably listening to this, uh, who still looks, uh, you look damn good for your age, darling. For, for a 76-year-old woman, uh, I want, as I say, she, she's listening to this, who looks damn good for her age. What did you tell me when you came up to Bugs in a Jar last summer? I think she told me that yeah, I, I, I think didn't you say that either I had to uh, find a girlfriend by the time I was 65 uh, that you know this was a year ago she's you know, like like Hambo you need to get a woman in your life uh, you have until your 65th birthday basically to find a woman or you're never gonna see pussy again as long as you live that was the word from my uh, still good-looking 76-year-old female friend. And uh, so anyway, I've got five months. I have got five months till I hit 65. So uh, i got to find a hypnotist. What do you think, little dog? Anyway, I will keep you posted. I'm off to pile of fish now. Bye, guys.